Good morning, 47. Your targets are Jack Rowe, a.k.a. Jakob Rowe, the charismatic celebrity chef specializing in new Nordic cuisine, and his partner in crime, Robert Burke, a well-established embalmer. The unlikely duo have been secretly working together in a diabolical scheme that could only come from a gothic novel. They have set up a rather bizarre business where, let's just say, nothing is off the menu. However, our client, a celebrity who wants to remain anonymous, has somehow come across the shocking truth of Mr. Rowe's secret ingredient and managed to connect the two together. Embarrassed and disgusted, they have not been able to go to the authorities as this would most likely lead to further scandal. So, they have turned to us. It's time to put an end to this ghoulish madness. Good luck, 47. Good afternoon, 47. Welcome to Thornbridge Manor. Your targets are currently separated, each taking care of their task at hand. Mr. Rowe is currently serving tasters to Gregory Carlyle, trying to entice him to become a VIP customer of his twist on Nordic cuisine, whilst Mr. Burke is putting the final touches on the late Zachary Carlyle, salvaging any potential waste that Mr. Rowe might deem appropriate for human consumption. Be careful, 47. These men are truly diabolical. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Procurers, which is the elusive target that takes place in Dartmoor. The first thing we need to do is get inside the house. So if we just create a distraction here at this side entrance, we can wander in and our first target, Jake, will be right on the other side of these two doors. So once we're in the house, just close these doors here. We'll just take out this maid and pop her in the basket that is conveniently located here. Now what happens is Jack's in the kitchen now and he's going to cut across this hallway into the dining room. Now for some reason he's not an enforcer even though we're not wearing any disguises. So we can just close these doors and just take him out. So that's our first target down. You can leave his body there, but we're just going to pop it in this crate just to be safe. The next thing we need to do is go and grab some lethal poison. So we we do that by going to the butler's office. There is some poison on the windowsill. Now in this hallway, there is also a maid. Now you can take her out if you want, but she does wander from one side of the hallway to the other so just make sure that she's facing or cleaning the gun cabinet and now we're just going to head upstairs now up here there are a couple of wandering guards so just make sure there's none directly at the top of the stairs and climb over this banister we're now going to head into the bedroom that's directly in front of us and go into the secret passageway that links this bedroom to the lawyer's kind of area. Our target will be in this room. And he's going to move from this room to the room opposite him. So we just need to make wait for him to leave. And then we're just going to create a distraction to get one of the guards to come in here. You can leave this bodyguard's body here, but we're just going to pop it in the crate. And then we're going to throw this crowbar at the guard on the other side of the room. Now just be aware, he does turn his head, so he can spot you. Make sure you pick up the gun so Robert doesn't get suspicious by it and poison the bottle. If Robert does see the gun, he'll wander off and this can like screw up his rotation and then he might not drink from that bottle so we just want to make sure that nothing will stop him from drinking that so once we got rid of that guard now we can just make our way towards the exit so if you just follow the way you came just be aware of these rotating guards up the top floor here jumping over the banister that we did before and again be aware of the maid 
Just make sure she's cleaning that gun cabinet and you'll be safe. There she goes. So now we're just going to go and jump out the window that is close to the butler's office. And again, just be aware that there is a guard that walks back and forward in front of our house and he could spot you. So we'll just wait here for him to do his rounds and we're actually just going to run for the exit. Alright, there's our picture in picture that Robert has been eliminated. Target's eliminated. Find an exit. Your money is being transferred now. So that's both the targets down, and we're now just gonna head for the motorbike exit. You can choose any exit you want, but I'm already here, so I might as well grab this one. So guys, like always, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really appreciate it. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the shenanigans that 47 and I get up to. And we'll catch you next time. Ciao.